Ah. <laughs> Technical difficulties. Hey everybody, my name is Joe. And I'm Kim. Welcome to SNES's Life. Uh, tonight we're going to be playing Cool Spot, which was a mascot platformer from the mid-90s. Now, Cool Spot is the 7-Up spot. You can see their nice little logo here in the corner. And it's Action with Attitude, it says. Action with Attitude. This was the days of surf, bro. Hey, bro, surfing. Surfing was cool. It was wicked. It was awesome. Don't you Tubular. Agree? Tubular. Exactly. <laughs> now you're on it. Uh, but as always, we talk about the cover. What do you think of the art? I think it looks typical of the spot. Yeah, it's very cartoony. Yeah. I, his hands look weird as hell, don't they? They do. It's like hands are always hard, especially and, on a cartoon. I'm also curious, like elbows. Yeah, are like he has little... <laughs> little nub elbows and nub knees. Like, what the fuck is that? And and tell me that ain't flounder just colored green. No, that does not look like. You don't flounder. think that looks like flounder no. from the Little Mermaid? Flounder doesn't have a nose. You sure? Yes. Hey, Shankus, how's it going? Welcome in. I know my Disney. Uh, that's fair. <laughs> anyway, so you never played this as a kid? Never played not it. Not that you remember. No, I never played it. I remember playing it. <laughs> I'm not saying uh, I don't remember playing it. I'm saying I never, never played, played it. it. So, yeah. Spot was supposed to be cool and hip. Um, but maybe he was. I don't know. Maybe I have a we'll... funny story about this spot. Oh, yeah? What's that? When I was like seven, my dad opened up a new C-store, convenience store, and they had a grand opening, and they drew for door prizes, and I won. But I was really mad. I don't know why I was mad. I lost that. But I was really mad. But my dad said I won a free bottle of soda and I got to choose my any bottle of soda, any two liter. And I wasn't talking to him. So I drew the 7-Up logo with Spot in the middle of it. You're such a dork. <laughs> funny. I don't know why I was mad. But I was not. I was really mad. <laughs> so back of the box. Surfing at the beach to ride in miniature blimps. Largest toy store. Spot races his way through carbonated quest to save his red friends. So apparently there's multiples of them. Snappy photo like graphics, it says, in comic animation. Outrageous obstacles in 10 levels plus 5 bonus rounds. Wouldn't that be 15 levels, really? We got our four usual screenshots. We got fighting a fish, fighting some... What are those, hermit crabs? Looks like it. Uh, I guess this top one here, these two are the toy store, looks like. There's your blimp, I guess. And then some weird doll and some walking teeth. So, I don't know. It doesn't look terrible. It could look better, probably, but it doesn't look terrible. I do have the manual, thankfully. So here's something I like. Over on the side, flip the pages to see spot walk. So they drew a flip book into <laughs> the thing. Which you can kind of see if you just scroll yeah, the pages fast. Yeah, that's kind of cool. <laughs> nice little thing. I like it when they do weird stuff like that and do good artwork. This one doesn't have a lot else in it, though. That spot walking is basically the only artwork. This is all text, just lots and lots of text. Basically, someone kidnapped all the spots, and you're trying to rescue them. And there's a lot to take in here. There's a lot more text. Like, for a kid game, you'd think they would have made this a little simpler. Um, I don't know. There's a few screenshots. It does at least do this right here at the back. So levels of coolness. So here it goes through all your levels and tells you a little bit about them, which I always like it when a game does that. Um, but I don't know. It's not the greatest manual I've ever seen. That's a fact. And it's real. Where is it? It's like kind of almost hidden in some of the text. Uh, here we go. Number two. So you get a cool point for every spot you collect in the level, and you need a specific number of them to actually finish the level. Mm. Which, if you didn't read this son of a gun, I don't think it really tells you that. So we're going to set it to easy mode, so we should only have to collect 30 spots to finish the level. Um, normal is 60, and hard is I think you have to get, well, it says 90, but I'm pretty sure that's like every one in a level. So, yeah. Interesting. Hey, round two. Welcome in. Thanks for joining us. Just flipping through the manual before we get started here. Did you figure out if it was one player or two? Oh, I'm sure it's one player. It's Why, why me? Why you? Because you. <laughs> <laughs> we can take turns when you eventually die. Are you going to give me a 
quick tutorial. There ain't much to it. But yeah, we'll do that. There isn't much to it, but it had all that with those words in that manual. Yeah, it's weird, actually. Virgin games. I didn't know Virgin was in video games. Yeah. Virgin did everything in the 90s. <laughs> The Uncola. I mean, you gotta give it to them. They they tried to do something interesting there. It looks pretty good. Am I supposed to press something? Yeah, we can just watch this and then you can press a button. Well, I, I did. Oh, oh start. <laughs> so go down to options, press A. Left or right to get to easy, I think. Nope. Or A, maybe. Music's on, sound effects are on, exit, start. <laughs> well, that's interesting. You have to find your buddy and shoot the lock. And Wow, you didn't even press a button, did nope. you? It did not give you long to take that in. Was well, that supposed to be like a map? Uh, I think it was just the instructions kind of telling you what the hell to do, but it didn't give you very long to look at it. So go ahead and hit start real quick. Because the game has a timer. Like a jerk game. Uh, so there's the little red dots you have <laughs> yeah, to collect. I see that. So, I mean, control pad's obvious, left, right. Uh, B is jump, and, okay. and Y is shoot. And oh, okay. the only other things, that, the only other controls that exist is if you hold the R button up top, your guy will stand still and you can shoot. So you can, like, aim without moving forward or backward. Because you can, like, shoot at an angle, I think. Okay. Uh, and then to go up and down a rope, you have to hold up or down. So, that's it. Okay. Am I supposed to do something with them? Uh, I think they just hurt you. Oh. So, over the top, you see cool is the number of dots you got. Ooh. So, you could go for 100% dots. You could try to find them all. I oh, can't go there. Um, oh. Uh, everything that hits you hurts you. And one of the things I think was neat is your life meter is actually your face up there. That was a one up. And as you get hurt, your face like peels off of the thing and then eventually falls off when you die. Uh, which is kind of interesting. Um, whoa, look at that. It's a Walkman. <laughs> <laughs> Even more so, it's not oh, just a tape got, Walkman, it had an antenna on it. I got it. hurt. Did you see that? Ah! Yeah. Oh, now I can't go back. Hey, I shot you. Apparently I needed to shoot you twice. So what is happening to his face? It's melting? It's like peeling off. The, it's a sticker basically peeling off. How the, do I get that? Thing. I, you can go down and jump up through the sand. I kind of remember this first level because... I mean, it's just... It's probably the only damn level I've played in the game. Ah. So I probably never got further than that. So now I want you to find the cage. Hey, there's your cage. I don't think you can actually kill those dudes. You just have to oh. jump up and shoot the thing. Okay, so... Oh, shoot the cage? You have to shoot the lock on it, yeah. Or hold your R button, and then hold up and left. And see if you can shoot at an angle. Um... Apparently you can't shoot at an angle. Oh, but you can stand under it and shoot up. Hey, look, I got one! <laughs> Huzzah! <laughs> It looks like his face is melting. Yeah. Well, I mean, fair. If you get enough points, you earn your one up there. But you didn't. You failed. Peer pressure. Ha ha ha. I bet you're running along a dock. <laughs> <laughs> Why does he always walk the opposite way from the arrow? That bothers me. It's not an arrow. It is an arrow. Is it? I think, I think it's just it's a broken arrow. sign. Now you weren't, you weren't really like a big like Mario kid or anything, were you? 
Nope. So platformers weren't really your thing. Well, I mean, I played Mario. Well, yeah. But I was more into, like, Mario Kart. Sea urchin. I bet it hurts you. I bet it does too. Oh, there was a bug there. It's a wasp. Ah! Thing. And a crab! Ah! And a spiny thing! <laughs> <laughs> Everything's ah! out to get you. I, okay, goodness. A little hard to control, is it? Well, for me. No, it could just be hard to control. Some games weren't real great about that. Oh, there's spots there. Not in that one. You probably come in it from the other side. Oh. If it's not letting you go on that side. Oh. Mm, maybe. Huh. I don't know. Too bad you can't kill the urchins. That'd be too convenient, I guess. I like music. <laughs> that is difficult for me to figure out. There we go. Okay. Hey, you killed him. I died. You did. <laughs> My turn. <laughs> My turn. <laughs> I want to see if you have a hard time controlling it too. Hey, I got you to a checkpoint. Oh, I can't shoot at an angle. What are you pressing? Just up and left at the same time. Hmm. I like the arrows that tell you which way to go. Yeah, that's convenient. Some games don't telegraph at all. They're just like, hey, wander until you get there. That bothers me. Yeah, it bugs me. Ooh. Fish! Fish! <laughs> I like how he always falls on his face. Watch. <laughs> it's like, flap. Well, I guess if you were a 2D dot. Yeah, that's fair. Interesting choice of bumblebee. Oh, there, I got enough stuff to find the cage. So now I just have to find it. Ah! <laughs> hey, it's not just me. <laughs> no, it's it's kind of loose on the controls. No argument there. Interesting how they chose to make him jump like he's diving. It really doesn't look bad at all. Oh. Apparently you got hooked. I didn't think the fish hook would hurt me. I thought that was kind of like part of the background. Yeah. yeah. I know the bees hurt me. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Prick. That's fish like... hook. Haha. -ha. Checkpoint. Let's go up. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of hard to control. Yeah. Hmm. 
You don't need any more spots though, do you? Well, I'm trying to get enough along the way to maybe get that one up at the end. Yeah. Extra time. God damn, this level's long. Ah! Piss off, crab. <laughs> Is he shooting a stream of soda? I don't know. It does look like whirls. Maybe he's shooting carbonated bubbles? <laughs> I mean, it seems like the silly thing they would have came up with <laughs> in the 90s, yeah. That's how I kill my enemies. Streams of soda. Hey, the cage! <laughs> I didn't mean to fall, but I figured as long as I would, I'd go after the thing. Hello, complete. Hey, monkey, how's it going? Welcome in. We just finished level two. So, Shanks, round two. Monkey, any of you guys remember this game from the uh, early 90s? 93, apparently. Any memories? Did you play it? Did you Are ever they old see it? To play it? Pretty sure most of the people that watch this channel are our age. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know that we have any kids that are young <laughs> watching it. Interesting. He looks kind of like... I think he's wobbly. <laughs> I agree. He is a bit wobbly. Oh, Mr. Mouse. Why is there barbed wire inside someone's wall? Give me the health. I bet those nails hurt me. Mousetrap's gonna hurt you. Oh, like, or did it spring you? It sprung me, but I bet that's only because I bet if I'd stepped on like the bait part, it would have hurt me. Don't I don't try. like. So when you start walking, you move pretty slow, actually, and yeah, then you do. after a minute, your guy like starts running. It makes it very difficult to control. The ability to shoot at an angle is... A big deal. Yeah. Yeah. I remember many other games where you would have to get into the line of fire to be able to shoot somebody. Boing! <laughs> yeah, you basically have to take the hit on that one. Thankfully, your little dots, like, break the guy's cheese, too. What? Like, the mouse that throws cheese at you, right? Yeah. It, you can shoot his cheese, and it blows it up so it doesn't just hit you. Oh. The mouse trap thing's kind of neat. I've not seen it useful, though. No. You figure they would have made, like, made it throw you towards... Ah. Towards like something. Right. Oh shit. Spider. Ouch. Nail. <laughs> I did not do one even on screen and let me kill him. That's nice. Man, whoever's building this is is a <laughs> really messed up building. <laughs> Agreed. Thumbtack? Yeah, there's been some thumbtacks. Nope, going this way. 
Mm. <laughs> Why are there keys? <laughs> this, is, this is a very strange house. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out what the the wire is supposed to be with the black around it. I think it's just a coil of electrical wire, I guess. Ooh. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I think it's funny when it show has the two mice kind of looks like they're throwing cheese at each other. Agreed. They are wearing pajamas, which is interesting. Or I guess clothing of some sort. There's the cage. Good job. Uh, let's see. Monkey says, yep, I liked it. I love setting up as kids. This appealed to me. Uh, Shanks never played it. Hey, Davey, how's it going? Oh, man, cool spot. You have your seven up. I don't. I'm drinking uh, jank margarita. <laughs> oh, thanks for the host, Davey. We appreciate it. And Kim's just drinking some carbonated water. Better than seven up. I agree. <laughs> oh, this is one of the bonus levels. Well, I'm Did glad I safe stated that. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't realize that. I, you I have thought to stay maybe on the, the lily pad. Yeah. So this is a bonus stage. I guess it's just jump and collect dots. Rubber ducky, you're the one. So what about you, Davey? I asked everyone else, but I don't know that you were here. Have you, uh, you memories of playing Cool Spot as a kid? Oh, did you just jump, jump on the bubbles? I did. What? You can stand on the flying saucers for a little bit. Interesting. How do you know where you're going? <laughs> I don't, really. I mean, there was... Oh, that's convenient. No, don't... <laughs> Why did you jump out, fool? Hey, Def, welcome in. Thanks for joining us this evening. I don't really want to jump down. It takes me all the way back to the, yeah, that's probably not worth the one up. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of one ups. No! Oh, whew. Random. Very. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going here. This way, maybe? No, don't. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, I think I was supposed to be going that way. Go, 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 go. Ah, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. This would not be a level for me at all. <laughs> yeah. Pleasure for the stream, Sarah. Thank you. How are we doing? Well, we're doing okay, I guess. How are you, dear? I think okay is probably about as good as I'm getting. Yeah. <laughs> Turns out, cancer sucks. 
Go figure. Oh. Oh, I was hoping I could just like hop off of that. Hey! Cage! Pop! Okay, it's better than nothing, sorry. No, you're fine. <laughs> Was that level four? Hey, we got the one up that time. Does it count Ooh, the bonus man. levels as a level? I don't know. I, th I feel like that was a normal level. Like I thought a bonus level would be like, you know, super easy, but that, that was a lot of jumping around. I guess maybe it's just cause there was no bad guys to attack me or some nonsense. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I can't. You can't go up the ladder? Apparently not. Interesting. Nice. Oh, what the hell is that? And a thumbtack. <laughs> I forgot how to get behind the Let's put that though. in the toy store shelves. You know, I feel like that. Oh. The... Okay, I didn't realize that was going to hurt me. I knew, uh, I knew Will Robinson's robot would hurt me. <laughs> oh, that's it. I guess I have to go through the fire truck's ladder. Maybe you have to jump up it? Oh, good call. Is it the 7-Up guy? Yes, it is. The 7-Up spot. You don't see that anymore, do you? Although we don't get commercials or see commercials. But... I'd say we haven't had cable TV in so long. Do they still make commercials that like have the Seven Up dot? Probably not, actually. Um, you know, yeah. I mean, we don't really we don't have normal TV, so we don't watch commercials. But I feel like the mascot days are over. No, they're not. You don't think so? No. I mean, the cheetah is still being advertised. Is he? Chester. Okay. Can just, oh, I can jump through that. It's hard to know what you can go through. It is. Go through. It is. It does not telegraph things well at all. Like, it's good looking. Don't get me wrong. Like, everything looks pretty, but because of that, I think it has a hard time. Ah, piss off, robots. Ah, drink. <laughs> it has a hard time, like, letting you know what is and isn't background, foreground, or interactable is kind of irritating i doubt that they still make those commercials make seven up yours <laughs> <laughs> what the oh i'll take it i'm going to climb shoelaces <laughs> oh there was like a clock what? oh there was a clock <laughs> hidden back there it was like you disappeared and it started making noises oh, shit. oh the cars are killing you bastards Alright, so I need to get to that guy. What is the thing in the background that, like... Is it a rat? It looks like a weasel. A weasel? I don't know what the hell it is, though. <laughs> I mean, was that like another mascot or something from the 90s? No. Not well, like, that I know Well, of. like, you know how Ronald McDonald had the hamburger? I wonder if the cool spot, like, fought the weasel or something. You know the only thing I remember the weasel from? Son-in-law. It's Polly Shore. Weasel. No? I mean, I know what you're talking about, but I that doesn't make me think of a weasel. Well, fine. <laughs> just be cooler than me that's okay <laughs> well i was thinking maybe you were gonna say dora the explorer with the um 
But I think that was a... Swiper, no swiping? Yeah, it was a fox, wasn't it? Yeah. Swiper, no swiping. Jesus. The things we watch with our children. <laughs> Teeth of death. And... What the... I'm gonna let it go. <laughs> yeah, you knew where I'm going with that, don't you? Yeah, you do. That's my wife, everybody. <laughs> she knows me. My jacked up sense of humor. <laughs> hey, Matt. Welcome in. Thanks for popping in this evening. Oh, you jumped right into it. I did. Can I climb that? Of course not. But at least in my... Interesting. Ah, oh, shit. dumb deck. I guess I have to go down. I don't know. Woo! Jesus, that was too far, wasn't it? They're everywhere. There are, man. I think it's the bottom of a shoe. Oh. Like I had the shoes earlier from the other point of view, so I'm gonna guess it's a shoe. Hey, the cage. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Look at your face. <laughs> Pretty much half dead. So what about you, Matt? Now that you're in here, do you ever play Cool Spot as a kid? Radical Rails, man. Radical. All those 90s catchphrases. Radical. My personal favorite was Wicked. Dude, that game was wicked. Interesting. I don't think I ever had any of those phrases that I actually said on a regular basis. Maybe as if. As if? But that was maybe a little bit more 90s. Yeah, that was Wayne's World. As if. Schwing! Oh, what the hell what is this? What the? Okay, well that's interesting. It kind of reminds me of Sonic Spinball there. Wow. You don't know cool. where something's going to... Send you to. Ooh, got a bunch there. That was a quick. Well, I got the things, but now I have to find the stupid cage. These levels are like mazes, basically. No. Oh. No! Oh, yeah, this le that level was awesome. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Wayne's World's so good. Never heard of it before. Never heard of it? A cool spot. Uh oh. I asked if he'd ever played Cool Spot, and he said never heard of it. I thought you were saying never heard of Wayne's World. I was like, what? Wayne's World was an awful game. Me and Joey have played that twice now. Once for the show, and once for one of our charity streams for the 24 hour thing. I'm sorry. Yeah, it was awful. <laughs> I remember we played it for that first. Someone paid for us to play it. And then when we got to it on the regular list again we were both like god no no not this <laughs> but we played it again and it was just as awful as we remembered so this uh, is back into the toy store apparently what the what okay i can't kill him i wasn't but, sure what do you think you think that pencil hurts me no <laughs> i wondered you rat bastard <laughs> I think it's interesting that the little ball things hurt you. <laughs> I don't like that the bad guys are like hiding behind I know, stuff. It's... I don't like it either. You remember those pencil toppers? 
Is that? Oh, I guess those are pencil toppers, aren't they? <laughs> I do kind of remember them, actually. Or you put them on your finger and play with them. Little monster guys. I used to love having things like that. Of course, I'm a nerd and always love having <laughs> pencils and pencil grips and you, all that fun stuff. You do like your pens. I do. I don't think you can kill that. That's stupid. Wayne's World game was bad. Yes, the Wayne's World game was awful. E.T. was a good movie, but that had a terrible game, too, amongst many others, probably. Mm. In general, we don't really like themed games. Yeah, we don't speak of E.T. Although I did almost buy a copy of it once. Um, because it was one of the ones that they dug out of the landfill. And so it actually had, like, a certificate of authenticity. It was like, this is cartridge number, like, 200 that came out of the landfill that they dug them up out of. It was only like 20 bucks. I was like, eh, is it worth its own piece of history like that? I debated on it. I'm surprised you didn't. Eh. You can't shoot the ball. Well, that's stupid. I'd love to. Check. As long as it's gonna give me health, might as well. I'm not really sure what those are supposed to be. Balls. What do you mean these things? No. <laughs> I have the no idea. The discs on rope. <laughs> Chinese yo-yos? I don't know. I'm just as confused about a lot of what's in this game as you are. Yeah, I like spool of thread, sunglasses, stacks of coins apparently. <laughs> it's pretty bogus. At least this level's been good about giving me health ups. <laughs> like, surely I'm near the cave. I was about to say, like, surely we're near it. Pogs? Oh, shit. I remember Pogs. You guys remember Pogs? It was back in Pog form. We only, uh, for me anyway, we only got the Pogs that came with like our Happy Meals and fun for Hardy's reason. things, but Joe actually had one of those containers. I say like Louie has it upstairs, or at least he yeah. had it in his bedroom. With his collection. God, I used to have a thousand of those <laughs> damn things. What the? Oh, I'm on a train. I was like, what the hell? That's disorienting. Yeah, it is. That dude's throwing coal at me. What the hell? There's like a rope up there. <laughs> Tennis ball! What the f bird? Bird. So, being an OCD type person, I would be the kind of person who would be watching the pattern in the background to see if it just repeats over and over again. It absolutely is repeating over and over again. <laughs> you kidding me? That's... I'm giving them way too much credit on that one. There were spots underneath that. I don't know so on. Can I, oh, I can't climb these stairs. What? There's a checkpoint. Yeah, it's... 
Mm -hmm. yeah, no, Apparently I have to go up at this point. Okay. Hmm. I don't know where the hell I'm supposed to go from there. Well, that way, I guess. <laughs> Boy, that's... That's not asking much from you, is it? <laughs> Shit. Come on. That's just rude. I hate blind jumps. Mm-hmm. I guess technically I could hold the screen up and down. I do not like this at all. Yeah, this is an awful level. I'm not a fan. Also, the background's getting kind of disoriented. Exactly. Would you even push your way out of it? <laughs> like the bubble's awesome. Just keep it. Uh -oh. No! Fudge! No, that's a safe state load. <laughs> <laughs> We're not doing this again. <laughs> nope. <laughs> We're not doing this level any more than we have to. Oh! Bug. Oh. <laughs> Stupid bird. off, bird. Safe state. Do you automatically drop through those? Yeah, they drop you after a minute. <sighs> so that's going to be a bit of precise platforming here. It's not the hardest platformer I've ever played, but it's kind of a pain in the nuts. Pop. Oh dear. What? Let's see. <laughs> Lots of comments? Yeah, we missed a lot. Remember Pogs. What's Pogs? Good times. Those things are fun. They were mixing their seven up with something for sure. Where's this table? Had so many containers of Pogs. Yeah, I still have the one. Me and my brother had a lot, probably not thousands, I'm not sure exactly what they were. A collection, collectible game. They were very much a collectible you thing. You have to Google it. Yeah, Pogs is something you either you remember or you don't. Like, it's hard to explain. They were just little cardboard discs, and you would stack them up. It was like marbles, essentially. Yeah. Like, everybody would throw some Pogs in the middle upside down. And then you had these big, big Pogs that were called Slammers that were either metal or heavy plastic, and you, like... Whapped them down, and then whichever pogs flipped over, you kept. It was just silly. You say pogs, you mean those little disc things? Yep. Oh, here it is. Another. Damn, I had a bunch of them. Different stuff. Yeah. I remember we had the, uh, we, we, I. <laughs> I had all the Apollo 13 ones. Remember when yeah. Apollo 13 came out? Hardee's had a deal. Yeah, Hardee's. I remember that. Where... Each kid's meal, you got like a section, a section of the of rocket, the rocket yeah. and it came with pogs, and there was like... No, I did get those. There was like four sections. But it was space. 
He was dorky. <laughs> I'm back in the wall again. Why am I back in the wall again? I didn't want to be in the wall the first time. With these sleeping mice. They're not sleeping. And, well, you're right. They're trying to kill me, with pricks. They're in their jammies is the point. And it's a little silly. I think that they should have chosen a different color background with it being a red spot. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's whatever. But I like that there's so many different... Uh, I like that there are different backgrounds. Though. So, like, there's the foreground, which is the wood and the electric wire and, like, the fencing. Then there's the bricks. And then there's even another layer behind that, which moves at a different pace. Right. Yep, oh, there, see, I finally got her by a mousetrap. God, and a thumbtack. Getting, getting lazy. Yeah, is that what we call it? I don't know if lazy is the right word, I'm just getting bad. Well, although it has time, it doesn't seem like time has been much of an issue. That's true. Although we are playing it on easy mode, you know, maybe, oh. maybe on a higher difficulty it would, uh, it would matter more. Yeah. Maybe there'd be more obstacles for us. Oh, what the hell was that? Spider. I mean, I get that now, but where the hell did he come from? I didn't see him. No! No! Son of a... <laughs> <laughs> I wanted the health. There's like something behind the thing there. It's probably a thumbtack. That's crappy. Hidden. That is. Shouldn't hide things that hurt. <laughs> just constantly shoot. Yeah, basically. <laughs> just like, well, you know something's gonna hit you, so... Just kind of be prepared for it. <laughs> right into a spider. <laughs> That was a cheap gotcha moment. Come on, man. I need a soda. Dots though. Um... Oh, right on the thumbtack. And a spider. There, now nah, it's fine, Cage. <laughs> That's alright. Oh. God. Look at your face. Uh... That's kind of funny. Good grief. <laughs> Oh, what we got in here? Oh, there's slammers. <laughs> I mostly had from anime like Digimon, Pokemon, Dragon Ball, Looney Tunes, the tiger from Cheetos. <laughs> Recently got some Pac-Man ones. Recently got Pac-Man. You're still collecting pogs now? They make those still? Came from a spider egg. Don't forget to check you. You mean Chester the Cheetah? No, the spider that came out of nowhere. Came from a spider egg. Dragon Ball Pogs would be sweet. And I did say Chester the Cheetah. I don't know about earlier, that. But that was a long time ago. Chester the Cheetah had a, a game too. It was also terrible. This one actually isn't bad. Like it's a... 
Did you just die? I did. I fell down a hole. I guess that means it's your turn. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. So this is not a level where you can go down, apparently. You die when you fall down the hole. Why? There we go. Remember, ah. if you hold the R button, you can aim it in different directions. There you go. Hmm. Nope. <laughs> Want me to try again? Sure. I could not get off that rope. We gotta be getting near the end of the game. Cheetos always make special edition here in Brazil. It's very common, to be honest. Cheetos makes a special edition in Brazil? What do they make? Like some weird white queso or something? Oh, this is the second to last level. That would explain the difficulty. <laughs> Bees are everywhere, aren't they? Impressive jump. Hmm. So, over here. here, hit pause for a second. So, to save state, you hold select and hit the R button on top. So, like, hold select and then hit R. And see so down the bottom left. Yep. So, that's where you're saved at now. <laughs> if you would like to abuse some save states. I'm guessing there's more that way, but I'm guessing I probably don't need to try to worry about it. Well, the thumb, the, I'd say the finger's pointing oh, you that way, though. Ah! I killed you once. Okay, jump off and grab that! Oh, that's alright, you weren't that damaged. Well, it's going to start you back where I was, so... <laughs> I could not make that jump. It's kind of a crappy deal right there. stuff on the board. <laughs> well, thanks. How am I supposed to get up there? Have one more thing? Ooh, I just have to go over here first. Oh, one up. Nice of it. Ah! <laughs> Crap. <laughs> Where'd he go? I think you got him. All right, so the bees respawn, apparently. Yeah, that's... Too, cause I hit the one and I was like, hey, I killed you. There was like a... A bait worm or something. Is that what that was? <laughs> I think so. Your face is melting. And I can't do much about it. I 
need some health. Ooh. There's a lot of crap. Ah, oh, no, I don't have to go that way. <laughs> well, that's not asking much, is it? I don't know if I can make that jump. Go down it. the other way where those, all those things were. Oh, I oh, made it. No, I'm not. <laughs> like, that was a long jump right yeah. there. And like you said, you start slow when you start. Really? Yeah, that's hard for me to get. When I was trying to jump, it's hard to figure out. Oh, there's a fish up there. <gasps> yes, help. It's hard to figure out where to jump. Now the sea urchins are huge. What the hell? Both gotchas. Let's just make everything bigger. Yeah, basically. <laughs> we know we just gave you health, now let us take it all away. You have enough spots, you know. I know, but I'm trying for one ups along the way. Now, 20 to 1 says that fish hook hurts me. I don't think so. Well, the crab did. <laughs> yes, the crab did. <laughs> Sigh. Ain't that some cheap shit right there, man. <laughs> here, make this jump. Make this jump right here. We'll throw a bee in your face. <laughs> it's hard. The... You have to, like... The knots are substantial. Like, you can't... You can't go through them. You can't climb through them. But you can fall through them. Okay. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> you find it so entertaining <laughs> Son of a bitch. I wouldn't be able to do it because you have to like shoot while you're climbing you're getting killed right now that's all right I was gonna reload <laughs> that shit anyway there's a one up that wasn't one up it was health oh but e <sighs> hey look I bet the bee respawns why wouldn't it What the <laughs> hell is that shit? Oh my goodness. What? You just went lower than the knot. Did you mean to? <laughs> just shoot everything everywhere! Basically, God, <laughs> what do you mean I have to go back this way? Missing something somewhere here. <laughs> hey, wait, go that way on the knots. That's the way I came from, though. Oh, you son of a. <laughs> Come on, you stupid clam. Jump up. Thank you. All right. Now it wants me to go this way. This is the way I came, I swear it is. Unless there's something we missed, I guess. Uh I have to like there you go. make it up here. That's stupid. Picky. Haha. I 
figure out what he's throwing. I bet the instruction book was says. Health me. Set of glasses. Surprise. Level of coolness. <laughs> Shell shock. How you can even read that. It just says that he'll fire something in any. It says he'll fire in any direction. It does not tell you what the hell he's shooting. I'm gonna go for carbonated bubbles. That's the only way it makes any sense in this particular instance. <laughs> well, that was interesting. Apparently, That's... hermit crabs have boxer shorts. I was gonna say, I like how he's wearing underwear or swimming trunks. Mr. Krabs. <laughs> He's shooting 7 up, I always assumed. I assumed it was 7 up too. I mean, it's, it's not any better theory than anything else. Hmm. The instruction series held on say what it is, though. You son of There's a lot of crap in this level. Uh, I thought I would float on those balloons or bounce off of them, but apparently not. Did you actually get in the right spot? Huh. Dude was like shooting at me. What does that bottle say? Oh, lotion. Copper tone, is that what it's called? It kind of looks like it, yeah. yeah. I was like, it's not the one with the dog pulling down the baby's underwear. There's that, <laughs> that radio Walkman again. <laughs> Who remembers Walkman? Uh, I love mine. Climb the balloons, apparently. Well, that's new. Not the, th not the netting, though? Apparently not. So you have to move from balloon to balloon. And remember where the hell they are. <laughs> this one moves, at least. Fudge sickles, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is not a game for me. <laughs> what? Where'd the blue balloon go? <laughs> so that's just going back and forth, isn't it? Not asking much, is it? <laughs> oh, hell, apparently I could have got up here a lot earlier, huh? Shut up. Still there? Oh no, this is spot. Alright. Looks like there's still more stuff that way. I'm sure there is. Fudge. <laughs> I'm like there's balloons there, obviously. Come on, little spot, let's go. Ah! <laughs> ah! Oh. 
right, so at the top of this, there's a thing to the left. Ooh. Really? The last level is just blind jump crazy. I don't like it. No, sir. I don't like it at all. <laughs> it's 9 o'clock, which is when we would usually stop a game, but we're on the freaking last level, and I kind of want to see the end of this shit. Now, knowing my luck, it'll be one of those games where it's like, congratulations, you beat the game. Now beat it on a harder level. You're spending a lot of time going back and forth. You might I know. Save state when you get to the end of this thing, so you fall, you. Where'd they go? <laughs> ah, Jesus. I'm glad you think it's hilarious. Your irritation is funny. You know, you're not the first person to say that to me. <laughs> Fine cage. Oh, I'd love to. <laughs> Let me tell you. Oh, dear. I would love to find the cage. Oh, this is like a volleyball net. Now why didn't it? I will note that this one doesn't seem to have any fingers pointing the direction you're no. supposed to be going. It's the last level, I gotta figure it out now. Ooh. That's interesting. Yeah, it is. It goes in like a, a rhombus or some shit. Why? Why would it be this awful? Come on! <laughs> it's just like, here you go, you have to blindly remember where this yellow <laughs> balloon is. There's those two little bumpy things too, right? That you could bounce on. Oh, goodness. Bastard of a game. I, I wouldn't be able to get this far, that's for sure. Well, I wouldn't be able to if it weren't for save states. That's a fact. <laughs> should have been the last level right there. Congratulations. You successfully received all the spots completed the game. But you did not meet the requirements needed to continue to win the contest. You must play on hard. Hard? Piss off! <laughs> Fucking game. I hate that. I know. I understand why they did it back then because they are like... Yeah. They're like, look, you're not going to play that many... Well, you certainly aren't going to own the game. So they just assumed you are going to play it over and over and over and over again. But today, you ain't got that kind of time. I remember playing lots so. of games like that where it's like, you can't really move on unless you play it on hard. Some nonsense. All right. Well, that's it. Um, oh, we didn't do need to review it, though. Uh, what do you think of the way it looked? Did it look good? Graphics? I... I think that it had good art, but yeah. I don't think that the graphics were good because I think that it could have done a better job at defining background versus foreground and some like that one level was really disorienting. <laughs> My ass off, no thank you. Yeah, no thank you indeed. Um, 
Yeah, I think the game looked fine. Like, it's not, you know, it's the greatest looking thing ever. No, but it was fine. I think it looked good for its age. I think they did a pretty good job animating the spot. Yes. Like, I think that's clearly where they spent most of their time was making his animations. Um, sound, I think the sound was fine. They had good music. Every yeah. level is different. Uh, I like the sound and yeah. the sound effects, too. Yeah, I like when you hit the ground, it's like, slap. <laughs> um, gameplay, it's definitely got some precise platforming in there. Like, you have to be spot on, poor upside down baby toy. Um, <laughs> exactly, poor upside down baby toy. <laughs> it's it looked pretty good for a game made after 7-Up. Yeah, as far as, like, remember, like, these companies made these mascot platformers just to try to cash in on it, you know, and... For being what it was, I think it looked really good, actually. Uh, that, by the way, is a glass bottle of 7-Up. <laughs> Why? I just remember when that's what the bottles looked like, and they were glass. I don't remember them being plastic. Like, it had a rounded bottom instead of, like, you know, the little, like, Bubbles. nubs. Yeah. Um, gameplay, so yeah, it's hard. It's not impossible. I assume on hard it would be very, very difficult. Well, yep. I wonder what the differences are. If it's just that you have to collect more spots, or if it's more enemies or right. less time. Because yeah. there was a time limit, but we never really ran into an issue with the time limit. On the last level, I got close, but but it wasn't a big deal. Uh, it was not difficult to control. Sometimes he was kind of hard to control. It's nice they did give you the option, the button where you could freeze yourself and then shoot in any direction. That was super helpful. So, you know, it, I, I'm actually going to give it a thumbs up. It wasn't a bad playthrough. It took us about an hour and we beat the game. Um, it was enjoyable. I mean, it was a fun game. Is it something I'm going to go back to? Probably not, but it's not bad by any stretch. I think it's worth playing. I don't think it's worth playing. You don't think it's worth playing? You're going to thumb down it? Yeah, I'm going to thumb down oh, it. Oh, poor Spot. <laughs> See Spot get thumbs down. <laughs> Be interesting right. to see what Joey thinks of it. I agree. He's, he likes more platformers than I do. So, since you're down here with me, we usually play puzzly games. So, what we got? Some we haven't played. We've played a lot of games on oh, here. Does this other controller work? Yeah, it does. Okay. It's just wrapped around the mic cord. Because why wouldn't it be? How about Bust a Move? What? Bust a Move. Bubble Bobble. Okay. Like a bubble pop? Yeah. And it's multiple players? Yeah, you can play versus each other. You say this like I know. Like, well, I don't know. I don't think I've ever played this. You sure? Yes. I've, if you haven't played this, you've played games like... Well, I've played bubble pop games. Yeah, I mean, it's the same damn thing. I find it hard to believe you never played bubble pop, though. Change the thing here. We're not playing that anymore. We'll turn the box off. So is speed important when you're playing multiple players? I don't know. Do you have garbage? I don't remember. You are not being helpful. <laughs> Look, I'm just telling you how it is. First play. Handicap. I like little face. <laughs> okay, so what are we doing? Let's just go with three. Okay. I mean, neither of us know what we're doing other than popping bubbles, so it's... We've got angry eyebrows. Left, right. I assume A shoots your bubble. What switches? Is there a switch? I don't think so. Just gotta go with what you got? Yeah, A and B both shoot your bubble. Oh, yep, there's garbage. Because you just threw one on me, I think. Oh, man. Oh, shit. Ooh. You threw some on me, too. Wow, this is really not easy to tell where you're aiming. Yeah, it is not. It's not like those convenient games nowadays that give you, like, you know, little Amy arrow things that show you what the hell is. Ah, damn it. Man? Oh, shit, that's a different color. Ha-ha! <laughs> nope. Oh, God, I'm gonna lose. Uh, ah! Oh! Uh. Uh. 
Okay, it is really... Yeah, I'm, I've lost. <laughs> it's really hard to, to figure out where that ball's going. Wow. No, I've never played this before. I, I find it hard to believe, but I mean, I guess I'll believe you, obviously. I remember it. I remember it from the arcade, though. Aw. Oh. Oh. Man. Eh. Shit. Why is it so hard? It is very difficult to figure out where you're aiming. Wow. They're little dinosaur dragons. I'm not really sure what they are. <laughs> They remind me of the, uh, is this the dragon that looks like that that's on like the cut the rope thing? I don't, I don't think that's even a dragon, the Nom Nom dude. Yeah, yeah he's not a dragon, he's what just like he? a, I don't know, he's like a little green thing. I don't think he's a dragon though. Ah, oh. so hard to tell. Where are you shooting? Oh, come on! Fragging thing. Hmm. Awful. <laughs> I lost. <laughs> <laughs> it's the bubble bobble dragons. They're dragons, apparently, according to Monkey. Oh, okay. Victory, you. Just go with that till we both kind of get used to it. Is that it? That, that... I mean, that's the game. It's pretty simple. Why? Why did you not go in the hole? Just go home. Don't you want to go to your home? <laughs> Why? Fucking thing. Come on. Aw, oh, that shouldn't have gone there. Ah, Jesus. Hey. Game that wouldn't have happened. <laughs> nope. I think you might have gotten this one. I mean, I'm at the bottom. Ah, so am I. No, that was you. Ooh. <laughs> Monkey says, "Go, Miss Sness." <laughs> <laughs> I like the music though. It's a jaunty little tune. <laughs> you talk funny. Why? Jaunty. What's wrong with the word jaunty? Uh, I don't think people normally use the words like jaunty. Well, okay. I used it. Apparently, I'm not doing it so great now. Stop! God, why does it not go in the hole? Yeah, the alignment is really so weird. It is very difficult to like judge your aim. I kind of want the little Amy line arrow thing now. Oh, you just garbage the shit out of me. Well, that's... This game's all but over. Oh, what, <laughs> why did you not? <sighs> yeah, come on. I need blue. Give me blue. Uh, none of that is blue. <laughs> yeah. Loser does the dishes unless Joe wins, then the winner does. <laughs> Joe always does the dishes. That's true, I'm the dish doer. He doesn't like the way I do the dishes. No, she drives me nuts. <laughs> she does them wrong. I should say Joe loads the dishwasher. And yeah, he doesn't that's like true. the way that I load the dishwasher. Oh, 
Oh hell, that was a different color. There's two oranges. And There's a yellow and an orange. Whatever, I have a hard time telling the damn difference, is the point. Damn, I started this level out like really solidly too. And then it all just went to shit. <laughs> yeah, you win. <laughs> Crushing me. That's pretty common for you on puzzle games with me, though. It is. I don't know why you even play them anymore with me. Because I love you. <laughs> Here's some garbage for you. I don't want it. No! Away. Stop throwing shit on my screen, woman. <laughs> <laughs> woman. Hmm. Well, shit. That's the yeah, end. I didn't think that was gonna make it. I can't. <laughs> so I can't even get around that. You garbage like flew up right in front of my thing. I'm like, I can't get past it. Ooh. What? Keep playing? Sure. Yeah, it's difficult. I agree with that. Stop dropping garbage on my shit. You know what would you like me to drop on your shit? <laughs> Oof, that was a lot of garbage. Oh, damn, I have that better in mind. Nope. I am apparently not a good judge Oof. of direction here. Well, I'm having a really hard time too, so. This game is hard. It is difficult. This feels like it's much harder than some of the other puzzle games we've played. Look, I lost one. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> you're throwing garbage on me already. You did on me too. Did I? Yeah. Oh, I missed. Oh, how did that not go in there? Exactly. Yeah, the game definitely does, is not easy to aim. Threw garbage on my right, I guess, and it killed me. Ha ha! <laughs> Aww! That sucked. <laughs> what? I was about to shoot into a good spot, and then you garbaged and it screwed it up. The number of times I'm like, oh, there's a spot. And she's like, nope, I'm going to get stuck right here. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, damn it. <laughs> Give me the color I need. Oof. Nope. I think you might get this one. <laughs> uh, I look 
look, I won. Like a little sad dinosaur. <laughs> Not much to it though, is there? No, there is not. I will say this, the rounds are fast. Just open that spot and then you garbaged it. Give me a blue, you bastard! <laughs> hmm. No special powers or anything. If you didn't lose so easy, they wouldn't be as fast. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. <laughs> think that it's aligned right and it's not part of that may be because of screen stretching like this game wasn't designed for a 9x6 resolution it was designed for a 3x4 or 4x3 or whatever the hell what it's supposed to be square and instead it's rectangular you mean was it a game boy game no it was a regular super nintendo game oh. but I mean, they, they weren't. It's being stretched onto this because of how we're playing. Because we have widescreen TVs now. Yeah. Do they think that'll fit in? Probably not. I probably shouldn't even try. Uh -oh. I think you're getting this one, honey. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Oh, poop shit. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no special powers. It is kind of disappointing. Alright, let's find something else. I don't know, this one's not that interesting to me. You? No. Yeah, okay. Let's find something different. What do we got? Cool. That can't be any good. Wait, was there a Chester the Cheetah one too? Yeah, that was, was the game I was telling you okay. me and Joey played. It was awful. <laughs> it was just awful, really. Well, I know there's a crap ton of them at the bottom here, I think. So let's see. Wario's Woods? I've never played that. Yoshi's Cookie was good. Remember that? I do remember Yoshi's Cookie. Let's do Yoshi's Cookie. I remember enjoying that. Because it had special powers. But we couldn't play against each other, could we? Yeah, we could. Okay. Oh, that's right. We did. Yeah. Because remember every time you like... Yeah, I remember. Got a it row had of the Yoshi switching heads. thing yeah. and the scramble. And so it was a little more interesting because it was like, no. You actually had beaten me quite a few times on that one, I think, too. Do, do, do. Do, do. Plus it's Yoshi. I know you love Yoshi. Yoshi! <laughs> uh, we're, we're people. Medium or No, we're man. The only options are man or computer. We are man. <laughs> I like that one. It's a jaunty tune. <laughs> A jaunty tune. Oh, I forgot you can pick different characters in this. They do different things. I don't remember which one I liked last time. I don't remember. I think I could just kept going with Mario, but maybe I went with Yoshi. If you love Yoshi, how do you put up with Adam's constant abuse of him? Ah, uh, look, I can ignore things. 
<laughs> Adam's the host of another podcast that we both listen to. I don't remember how to play this. Remember, you have to, like, I think you hold A. You move your cursor and hold A, and then I think you can slide them up and left and right. We'll find out in a second. <laughs> yep, that's what it was. Damn it, my thing didn't want to move here. Yoshi Cookie! Oh, you took control of my thing! I know, no. it's like suddenly we're super focused. No, you cannot be me. Scramble. That's right, you fill up the bar on the sea. We're remembering now. You have two kids, so that checks out. What checks out? Uh -huh. I don't know, we lost track of any kind of conversation. <laughs> <laughs> we got super absorbed. <laughs> you can ignore things. That's fair. Definitely learn how to ignore things when you have kids. That's pretty dirty. That's a fact. Um, let's see. Um, no, I don't have enough for that one. Dang it. <laughs> for that one? Okay, I have to have enough for something. There we go. Oh shit, I just took three away from myself. I forgot that the thing rotates like what the Yoshi cookie special is. Oh, did you? <laughs> oh, I did me blind. <laughs> See? You have to keep an eye on that. I forgot about that. Because, yeah, you'll end up screwing yourself. I did myself again. This is not <laughs> fair. I mean, I disagree. I feel it's plenty fair. Shit, I took three away from myself again. No, 
I did it to myself again. And then I made you. <laughs> gotcha. <sighs> Man, that was close. I like the music. I need to pay more attention to that. Thing. The, the thing, yeah. It's hard though. You're like, it's just difficult to concentrate on multiple things at once like that. I just gave you three. <laughs> oh, come on. What am I doing? Scramble. Rotates. Oh, you scrambled me. to do it during Kim Joe Slave and I got Kim minus three. <laughs> I think next time maybe I'll try to do something different with the rotation. Pick a different person than you see. Man. I can beat you with this. Yes, you can. <laughs> Apparently. Yes, you can. <laughs> good at puzzles but you're much faster button pusher <laughs> handicap yourself i want to try a different person first so i think i did better on bowser so if i remember correctly attack is how long when you hit me with something it lasts and then my defense kind of defends against that so that kind of evens those two out i don't Limit was how slow you, how fast your time wick burns. And message was the how fast it rotates through the. That's right. Thing. Well, if you're gonna be Bowser, I'll be Mario. It's -a me, Mario. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Bowser's wick burns quick. Yeah, it does.
can do Bowser. He burns out a little too fast, does he? Yeah, he does. Yeah. We'll reset and you can try someone else. Characters. BPS. Chat got awfully quiet. <laughs> we are quiet too. Yeah, that's fair. I'll try Bowser. I'm gonna try Mario. Who's <laughs> <laughs> got the faster fingers? You do. <laughs> I am not a button masher. Oh crap, I slaved myself to you. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Did it do yourself? Yep. I have a high attack, so it lasts longer. Uh, crap. I burned my whole damn wick out trying to. No! I almost had one lined up. Beat me at this one. <laughs> I said I got quiet. I'm like, so I'm working trying to fix documents. Sorry. Periodically glance down. Matt says I'm playing. <laughs> well, there you go. That's all right. I think we should play Bomberman. Oh. Yeah, we can do Bomberman if you want. <laughs> I am awful at Bomberman. Uh, I think in this, I think Super Nintendo had Super Bomberman. Yeah. Super Bomberman or Super Bomberman 2? Let's go Super Bomberman. Bomberman! I am awful at Bomberman, just so you all know. <laughs> I love Bomberman. One of the first games that we could play with lots of people. True, true. We had the four controllers. I have it in the other room. I even have the special Bomberman uh, four-player port. And I died. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't kill you. No, I usually die to myself in this game <laughs> as much as anything else. Da, 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 da. 
The multi tap, yep. Actually, the pawn shop up the road from me has a one of the ones that came in this, the like long one. Mine actually looks like Bomberman's head, which is super cool. It was, I think, it was a Japanese only multi tap that I bought one and had it shipped over here because it's cool looking. I was like, if you're gonna buy a multi tap for Bomberman, then having it look like Bomberman is just super sweet. Which one are you, black? Yeah. This is where it starts filling in the yep. edges. Yep, there it is. With some turbo graphics because of built in five controller ports. Five? I always bomb myself as well. Yeah, I am. I am just awful at this. I have bad judgment. <laughs> <laughs> dork! <laughs> They're doing the wave! You're my dork, though. <laughs> oh god, we start out next to each other? That's awful! I died already! <laughs> what the hell? Bogus. I got golden bombs! Nope, I can't get off the couch. Oh, I killed myself. <laughs> Where are you going? Back. Should you? I pause this. <laughs> is it on the screen? Yes, it is. So that's the bomber. Up a little bit. Up. There bomber man multi tap. So you put the controller ports in here, and it looks like he has arms and legs sticking out. It's really cool. <laughs> Because I'm a child. Yes. Yes, he is. <laughs> you know it when you marry me. <laughs> you have a bomb right below you. Just so you know. In case you want to actually play this level. Oh. <laughs> uh, see, Monkey says that's awesome. It is awesome. Ready? No. Okay, go. Oop. I don't remember. How do you kick bombs? You just walk, walk into, into them? them. Whoa! Was that, that was your bomb, no, I think, that don't, hit me. Don't! Why is you... Someone's bomb is already, like, super long. It's mine. Oh, she got me! How'd she get you? She, like, freeze you there? No, she's got the plague. Why did you both turn invisible? Because it's the plague! <laughs> Apparently I don't have that yet. <laughs> I'm gonna go get one now. Ha ha! What the hell? His bomb deep, like... What did we call those? They were duds. for a few minutes and then I died. <laughs> oh, I love you. Victory! Should I buy you a Bomberman wrestling belt, dear? No, please don't. <laughs> you don't think that'd be cool? Only if I start. We start doing tournaments with my siblings. <laughs> <laughs> and whoever wins the tournament gets to keep the belt. What the hell? The bombs fly. The, oh. Like the computer just drops them from the screen. Well, that's stupid. Aww. Oh, my bomb blew up or dudded. 
Oh, shit. Well, that was a lot of stuff. <laughs> I mean, I killed the blue guy. Yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> and myself. An anniversary ring in the shape of a Bomberman bomb. Unfortunately for me, there's not a lot of jewelry I can wear. Fortunately for me, I can't buy her jewelry. She's allergic <laughs> to metal. And so, jewelry has always been, like, a pretty much no-go for anything. Except for the jewelry that our friend makes. Yeah, our friend makes her a lot of jewelry that's, like, uh... Beads. Yeah, beads and rocks and things. Shit. Oh. <sighs> I didn't even have to do anything on that one. <laughs> Killed myself again. <laughs> my problem is I can never like envision how far the bombing is going to blow up. Even when it's my own and so I'm like always in the way of it. You should always assume it can hit you. I mean, I should always assume it can hit me. These are springs. They bounce you. Oh, this is awful. <laughs> this is spring made me land on my bomb. Oh, well, maybe it's not so awful. <laughs> this, this is how I win a game. Because uh, it, it's kind of random. Shit. Shit. Run! <laughs> uh... Ah! Ha I won a game! <laughs> Suddenly I like spring level. <laughs> it makes you die. down into the boom boom into the boom <laughs> i made a boom boom <laughs> you married a boom boom i made a boom boom oh oh <laughs> all my stuff is on blocked by springs i don't like that at all ah and plagued me <laughs> and then killed himself in the process douche <laughs> Look at you just hiding in the box. I can't <laughs> lay a bomb. There we go. Can I help a little bit? <laughs> or he'll just kill himself. I was lucky. Victory. <laughs> uh... <laughs> the bomb. Oh, goodness. What does this one do? It's a... Uh, Spinner? No, the belt. Oh. Uh, so this is where, like, the bombs can move. Yes, it? but they go this way. Ah, fudge. <laughs> Not your night, Joe? No, dude. Uh, trust me, Bomberman just isn't my thing. I am awful. Awful, awful, awful at Bomberman. Like, I enjoy playing with her. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I am terrible at it. Like, <laughs> he killed him both. Like, this and Dr. Mario are the two that I am... You're not bad at Dr. Mario. I'm functional. <laughs> You just have to play with the handicap. Play with the whole family. That's an awful idea. Joey's not too bad at Bomberman, but he wanted to play with me one point, and 
<laughs> was like, I'm done. How, how, how good, good you were. Yeah. He was like, this sucks. You're crushing me. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> Stupid computer killed both of us. I could beat the dog. I could beat the dog. But only because the dog doesn't have opposable thumbs. If he did, I'm pretty sure he'd beat me. <laughs> Would you like to play something else now? No, we're good. I think I'll increase the computer skill. we put him, what do we got? Max level is a 10. I'm going to put him at a 5. Now I'm really going to get smoked, but that's alright. Oh, pipe level. The blasts can go through the pipes, can't they? Yes. I thought I remembered that. Why? Why does the computer get the plague? Nope. Oh, man, now they gave it to me. What is it? I don't know. No bombs. I'll say I'm flashing, so... The, the flashing, you flash regardless of what plague you have. But this uh, plague is the no bomb plague. What the hell's the point of it? You can't lay any bombs! How the hell are we supposed to die? You wait until the plague is over. <laughs> you trapped me. Ha ha! Oh shit. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> walked into my own. The bombs were in the pipe. I couldn't see it. <laughs> Not that it would have mattered. I'd have walked into that shit anyway. <laughs> This one have quote unquote story mode. Uh, yes, it does. does. It? Well, normal mode is story mode, isn't it? I'm pretty sure this one had a story. I don't remember. But it was if... only one player. Ah, oh, fuck! I just killed myself. I think. <laughs> hey, booger. <laughs> booger. <laughs> You walked into the plague zone. <laughs> and you killed yourself. Nice job. <laughs> and the Turbo Graphics one, the Black Bomber is the bad guy. I don't, I don't think I've ever played story mode on any of these. Except for I got Bomberman R for the Switch. And we were playing its story for a while. Its graphics are hard. Yeah, though. it's the weird isometric view. And neither of us care for it. Uh, oh, shit. Yep, I died. He turned me invisible. I didn't even know where the hell I was. <laughs> yeah, you were safer just hiding down there in the bottom, huh? Yeah, I was. Hey. <laughs> oh, that totally should have killed that guy. I don't know. We've never played Bomberman R with four players, but we could. I have the controllers for it. We could play Bomberman as a family together one night and watch you and Joey end up fighting each other. <laughs> I don't know if we could convince Louie to do it, though. Maybe. Louie's pretty iffy on old games. Although, I mean, Bomberman R isn't old, but... Look though, the computer's doing better now. It is. They've won a couple of games. The controllers are squeaky. They are. These controllers are well used. That's a fact. Oh, there was something else in there. Interesting. Now it's your turn to win. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Get right on that. Maybe. Ah, oh, Jesus. What? 
<laughs> now the computer beat us. Crushed our faces. Victory for the red guy. Wah, wow. But that's 10 o'clock, so we're done. Okay. Well, Matt, Monkey, everybody else who sat and lurked and talked with us earlier in the evening, round two, and Def, and Davey, thanks everybody. Shankus, I know he was in here. Um, so thanks everybody for joining us tonight as we played, uh, what the hell did we play? It's a cool spot. <laughs> one thumb up, one thumb down. Kim didn't care for it. Uh, I thought it was okay. Enough to play anyway. And then some Bomberman, some Bust a Move, and some Yoshi's Cookie, so... I've been lurking a bit. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming in and lurking then, Def. We appreciate it. Let me pull up Twitch and see if I have anybody I know that's online that we can raid real quick. Babonesy. Oh, what's he playing tonight? Party Pack on Steam. Oh, Renaissance is playing. Let's see. Kid Icarus. There we go. We'll raid Renaissance. Night, Matt. Night, Monkey. Night, everybody. Thanks a lot for hanging out. We'll, we'll raid Ren here in just a second. <laughs>